This week's weekly ritual is dedicated to the memories of Grim Reaper vocalist Steve Grimmett and Fastlane Studios legend Mike Big Balls Ferrara, who both passed away this week. Rest in power. What's up, everybody? It's Keefe, and you're watching another edition of the Weekly Ritual, Ghost Cult's new show, right here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. GhostCultMan.com is a small business. With that out of the way, let's get into it. In case you missed it, features at Ghost Cult. Check out our brand new interview with Steve Blanco of Imperial Triumphant. Their new album, Spirit of Ecstasy, is out now. We also interview world-renowned concert photographer Gene Ambo, all about his brand new book, which you can order from the link below. Also, you still have time to enter our giveaway for a giant merch bundle from Long Distance Calling. Enter at the link below. You can also catch a brand new edition of the Ghost Cult Magazine podcast. Senior editor Steve Toby joins me, and we chop it up all about the new albums for June, July, and August. You can also catch a cab... Or catch me on the Glacially Musical Podcast, Beer Metal Swearing Vinyl, and more. This week, host Nick Cameron and I finish our series on Motley Crue. And now, the news rundown. Bloodstock Open Air just concluded its 2022 fest, and they announced the first bands for next year. Headliners include Killswitch Engage and Megadeth, with another headliner to be announced, and a bunch of other bands, including Fit for an Autopsy, Devil Driver, Knock Loose, Gate Creeper, and more. Riot Fest is fast approaching next month, and they announced their legendary series of after shows, which you can check out right now. FYA Fest, the legendary hardcore festival, has announced its ninth edition, and a bunch of bands were announced, including Headliners Life of Agony, A Cold World, Fiddlehead, and more. Legendary heavy metalers except have booked their first headline tour of North America in almost a decade and they will be joined on the tour by the awesome Narcotic Wasteland. Fresh off of two more shows in the U.S., in Buffalo and Pittsburgh, Metallica has announced they will headline this year's edition of the Global Citizen Fest. It's going to be the Circle Pit versus the Two-Step, when Five Finger Death Punch and Brantley Gilbert team up for a weird co-headline tour. Weird. Direct support is coming from Five Finger Death Punch's label mate, Corey Marks. The Ghost Inside has announced their first annual Rebirthday Bash in Las Vegas, Nevada. The two-night event will take place at Brooklyn Bowl, and joining the Ghost Inside will be awesome bands like Hate Breed, We Came as Romans, Bleeding Through, and more to be announced. Rivers of Nile have announced their first ever tour of Mexico with direct support from Imperial Triumphant. Distant has booked their first tour of North America, supporting their upcoming debut album on Century Media. Another band with a new album coming soon is a Squala Grind, and they have booked a headline tour. In Cancellations, Rage Against the Machine has been forced to cancel all of their European tour dates this fall that were taking place very soon due to Zach De La Roca's knee injury. The band finished up strong in New York with Zach sitting on an amp for their run of dates in Madison Square Garden, in which they raised a million dollars for charity. Moonspell, Swallow the Sun, and Witherfall abruptly canceled their tour that was to take place next week in North America. Please go buy some merch from Witherfall at the link below. They are trying to raise money to support themselves and their crew who have lost a bundle on this tour that is not happening. Hardcore and deathcore-centric Kentucky Irate Fest has lost a slew of bands over some beef with the promoters. The, both the bands and the promoters made an announcement about this. You can decide for yourself what the hell's going on. Sad news this week, as Chad Gilbert of Newfound Glory and Shai Lu once again is battling cancer. You may recall he beat cancer earlier this year, came all the way back to go on tour with the Sticks and Stones tour, but he was feeling some pain after a few months of touring, dropped off the tour, got checked up. He has another tumor growing near his spine. He's already got a surgery planned. He believes he's going to bounce back with treatment and he can survive the rest of his life after this. We're pulling for you, Chad. Get well soon. In surprising news, Turnstile has lost founding guitarist Brady Ebert. In barely an announcement, a post to Instagram stories only, Turnstile announced Brady was leaving the band and they wished him the best. No news as of yet of who is going to replace Brady on the upcoming sold out Turnstile headline tour. British politicians have opted to petition the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II, to bestow some kind of award onto Black Sabbath for their cultural relevance. I, I thought the monarchy had no power. I don't think the British government is very good. No idea what's going on. Somebody help me. Somebody explain British government monarchy powers to me. Anybody. Somebody. Porno for Pyros, fresh off of their summer of three comeback performances, 
are working on new music and planning to record soon. Guitarist Pete DiStefano shared an Instagram post of a photo of him and Perry Farrell working on music together. Deathcore legends Oceano are back with a brutal new single mass produced on their label Sumerian Records. No word yet as to whether this will be the lead single off of a future new album or EP, but the band is promising big things soon. Satan help me! Alice in Chains has announced a humongous box set for the 30th anniversary re-release of their classic album Dirt coming in late September. The box set is listed at $275 USD, a steep price, but it looks amazing. Plus, the double vinyl variants are already selling out, so you may have to get this box set. Hopefully I win some money in Vegas and I can buy this thing for myself. Oh, crap. Pixies have shared a brand new single and video for the track Vault of Heaven from their upcoming new album. Australian metalcore band The Last Martyr dropped a brand new single and video, Sugar, out now. Long-running Canadian hardcore band Fucked Up will release a new EP, Oberon, coming in October, and they have booked a headline tour. Experimental doom band Pigeon has returned with a new single, Weave In, out now. Clutch has dropped a brand new single and video, for the title track of their upcoming album, Slaughter Beach. Their album is called Sunset at Slaughter Beach, and it's coming soon. Revitalized Old School Thrasher's Trauma will drop their new album, Awakening, next month on Massacre Records, and they just dropped a new single, Walk Away. Click, click, boom! Saliva has dropped a brand new single and music video for the track Crows, which is climbing up the charts. Arch Enemy dropped a brand new video for the track The Watcher. Their album, Deceivers, is out now. Lots of news in the Ronnie James Dio camp this week as Wendy Dio is in talks with producers to remix Dio's album, The Last in Line. This follows this year's incredible remix and remaster of Holy Diver. In addition, two live albums are coming out for Dio. Niji Entertainment and BMG will drop two legendary live performances, Dio at the Donington Festival 83, as well as Dio at Donington 87. And also, the Dio documentary is making the rounds and we should be hearing about a wide release of that very soon. Progressive metalers Tesseract dropped a brand new single, Natural Disaster, live in concert. And in a week when everybody and their mother is putting out a new album, Summerlands on Relapse Record have dropped a brilliant new song, Edge of the Knife, that will make you feel like we're back in 1985. It rules that hard. And now for a look at New Music Friday. Alpha Wolf and Holding Absence, the Lost and the Longing Split EP, Sharp Tone Records. Amidst dreams of tomorrow, memories of a wandering soul self-released. Black Lab, in a bizarre dream, new heavy sounds. Conan, evidence of immortality, Napalm Records. Dead City Ruins, Shockwave, AFM Records. Empress, Fate Wheel, self-released. Eruption, Tellurian Rupture, from the vaults. Fatso Jensen and All Souls, live from Total Annihilation Split. Ripple Music, Hammer King, King Demonium, Napalm Records, High Lung, Drift, Season of Mist, Hive, Spiritual Poverty, Translation Loss, I Prevail, True Power, Fearless Records, Mammoth Volume, The Curse to Perform the Larva God Rites, Blues Funeral Records, Orthodox, Learning to Dissolve, Century Media Records, Pelican, Australasia Re-Release, Thrill Jockey Records, Pensy Slow, Neglect, Prophecy Productions, Cyclonia, Palo Verde, Psycho Wax Records, Russian Circles, Gnosis, Sergeant House, 6x6, Self-Titled, Inside Out Music, Soil Work, Olvar Even Yet, Nuclear Blast Records, Spirit Adrift, 20 Centuries Gone By, Century Media Records, Spite, Dedication to the Flesh, Rise Records, Splintered Throne, The Greater Good of Man, self-released, and Thunder Mother, Black and Gold, FM Records. And now for a look in our mailbag. This week we got a package in the mail from UK hardcore band Bad Breeding and their new album, Human Capital. Let's check out what came with it. This awesome sleeve, it's actually pretty good material. It came with a note, hey Keith. It came with a note from their PR, hey Keith, thanks for working with us on the record. Very cool, thank you guys. Thank you, Jensen. We got this awesome old school artwork on the front and the back. It looks like a classic hardcore punk album. It came with this awesome poster, Human Capital, atomized and casualized. Like very old school, 
The inside has the lyrics printed. Very cool, very cool. And in this awesome white sleeve, we've got this beautiful Fire Engine Red album. The graphic of sort of an angel of death and the track listing on the other side. Thanks, Bad Breeding. You guys rule. You made it to this part of the show, so you know what time it is. It's the end. Ghost Cult Mag's a small business, and we really appreciate the support. As we say every week at this juncture of the show, it's a tough time in the world. So please take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and remember, jump in the pouch of a Joey and hop, hop away. British politicians have opted to petition the, the government. British politicians have petitioned